Well, almost 2,000 calls about illegal fireworks have come into first responders in the last month, and that number is only going up. A News Now reporter Darlene Melendez sat in on a special task force meeting where leaders discussed how to track them down. Darlene? Well, Brian and Denise, it's no secret. On Thursday night, the sky will be lit up all across the valley. And in this year, police officers and fire crews are joining forces once again with a special task force to try and stop illegal firework use. The people inside this room are preparing for a busy night ahead, the 4th of July. I've been enlightened a lot. Fire inspectors on one side of the room and officers on the other. This is the firework task force. Last year, we were just amazed at how many reports we received. It's the task force's okay. second year. It's also the second time they use a website where people can report illegal firework use in their neighborhood. The fact that it's only July 2nd, we've already had 1,700 hits so far this year. It's a big deal. If someone is caught with illegal fireworks, they'll be fined up to $1,000. And not to mention, there are dangers that come with their use. We do get a lot of calls for injuries. They calls for burns. A lot of house fires occur because of the improper use of pyrotechnics. Adding to the firework dangers this year, unusually dry weather. After all, Ted Not said it. We're still in the southwest pattern, so we have a mixture of dry conditions with humidity only at six to seven percent and we're going to have some breezy, breezy winds, which is not a good combination. The task force hopes illegal firework use lessens as years go by, because many times their consequences are much greater than a citation. Um, people have lost their homes from fires. People's kids have been injured, um, not to mention the impact it has on our veterans that suffer from PTSD as well as our other members of this community that suffer from PTSD from one October. And as a reminder, police don't want uh, you to report illegal firework usage with 911 or 311 calls. Instead, they want you to go to the I Spy Fireworks website. We'll have a link to that on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.